Alright, hi guys, it's coming next to Kring another FP VOD. And this game's a PvP on Python. And, um, yeah, uh, as you can see in my typing, I just hit uh, B minus on IC Cup. And for all you people, I heard some people were saying I couldn't be B minus. Well, just go to IC Cup and check out slash stats combat dash EX. And yeah, I'm B minus with a record of 55 to 14, I think, around there. And it's funny because when I was D, my record was like 15 nothing. <coughs> Fuck, let me just close Emerson. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So, when I was... When I was DIC Cup, I was 15 nothing, And now... Sorry, 15 one five nothing, And now I am 55 to 14. So, you can see the big difference. And, yeah, that's IC Cup for you. It's really hard. B minus. I'm only B minus. And I think the best I could ever do is B. And... As you can see, that's uh, that's not even that good compared to people that are like A, A plus, A minus, etc. And yeah, um, this game again, Protoss is for us. There's unlimited stuff you can do. There's one gate tech, uh, two gate, one gate tech into DTs, one gate tech into dragoons, one gate into reavers, one gate into four, uh, four gate, two gate zealots. And this game, I'll be exploiting the build order for one gate, sorry, two gate zealots, and I'll show you guys how that works. And I'm recording post game, so yeah, for all you guys that are wondering. And again, the build order is 10 gate, then 12 gate, then 15 zealot, and then 15 pylon. Sorry, 14 zealot, 15 pylon, seven, uh, and then 15, then again 15 zealot, and then 17 probe, and then seven, uh, 18 zealot, and 18, and then after 18 zealot. It, well, I haven't memorized it up after that, and I kind of just made all that up right now from basic o old memorization. But yeah, um, as you can see, I'm really hot this game, and I'm 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 basically really warm, and I have lots of APM. I just was playing all day today, so yeah. Um, what else? Okay, yeah, uh, guys, go check out uh, sc2gg.com. Really good website. I post my videos there. And now you guys might be wondering why my scout is going up there rather than the other base. Because I saw he was coming to scout down there. And I highly doubted that he was scouting with his second gateway probe or his assimilator probe. So that's why I assumed he was up here. And my assumption was correct. And so, yeah, um, I'm going to go scout him. And I know he has it all blocking the ramp. So I'm basically just going to have to go through it with the gas trick and to do the gas trick you click on your probe you right click on the gas you hold shift you right click on the gas again and then you can't you keep holding shift and then you right click all the way to the brace and as you can see he is doing one gate tech so now I have to go attack him because if I don't attack him he'll be ahead of me in tech and if he's ahead of me in tech then I'll be screwed so yeah I have to go attack him because he did this build and that this is basically retaliating to what he's doing and retaliating is going to win me the game because I know this game right now. I can tell right now. Unless he pulls off some crazy micro, this game pretty much over. And I know it's only three minutes in because uh, I'm watching after. But yeah, this game's not going to go any further than this because these, unless he can pull off some crazy micro, I'm pretty sure I won this. And he is. So I'm just waiting for all my first five zealots to come. And my probes are just chilling. Maybe build a shield battery or some sort of unit like that and pylon prison them. I'm not sure if I recorded a game where I pylon prison someone. It's basically like if they attack the Dragoons, you quickly build pylons, and you pylon prison them around there so the Dragoon can't get out. And I'll do that right here. I'll show you guys how that works. And yeah, he built a shield battery. So he thinks that's going to help him. It's not going to help him. And as you can see, I trapped his Dragoon right there. That wasn't that planned, but it was kind of actually planned. I thought I knew that was going to happen, and I knew my Zealots were going to go there. So yeah, um, that Dragoon died like that, and now the shield battery is also going to get fucked. And then I'll build my own shield battery to trap the other Dragoons coming from the other gateway. And yeah, so um, as you can see, four, five zealots against whatever he has, no chance. And again, trying to trap this, trying to trap his dragoons here. I mean, trying to trap his dragoons by making shield batteries everywhere. And yeah, one dragoon cannot possibly be microed well enough like this. And yeah, so I'm gonna make a few of my dragoons, a few of my zealots attack the dragoons, a few of my ze and a few of my zealots attack the probes. And as you can see, I'm just picking up everything he has. And there's no way for him to come back in this game. So, yeah. This shows if you're a protest player, do not just fast tech like that. Because that'll get you screwed. And as you can see, the shield, ba shield battery really helping there. And he called GG. So, this is GG, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And, um... Yeah, so check out Mochab Class or Diggity and some other commentators, which I don't even know their names yet. And go check out OS, the OSL MSL play, SEDUGG.com. And look forward to more videos from me. And my clan, EMG, come there. We're starting recruiting February 23rd. So, yeah, w just come check that out. And opemg. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace out.